Great moments are born from great opportunity, and that's what you have here tonight. That's what you've earned here tonight. One game. If we played them 10 times, they might win nine. But not this game. Not tonight. Tonight, we compete with them. Tonight, we stay with them. And we shut them down, because we can. Tonight, we are the greatest hockey team. Greatest, greatest hockey, hockey team in the world. You were born to be hockey players. Every one of you. And, and you, you were, were meant, meant to be here tonight. This is your time. I'm sick and tired of hearing about what a great hockey team they have. Forget them. This, this is, is your, your time. time. Now go out there and take it. Hello everybody, I'm Dan Monroe. And I'm Christian Patterson, and we're here at the IX Center for the 2019 United CLE Cleveland Playing Pool. Yeah, now what you're about to see is an awesome display of power as teams of 20 attempt to pull a Boeing 737 12 feet. And all the money raised today goes to benefit the athletes of the Special Olympics Ohio. Okay, well it's about time. Now do you at home think these men and women have what it takes to pull a giant jet a giant 12-ton jet yeah. this far. Well, we're going to find out because the 2019 Cleveland Plain Pole starts now. But before we do that, let's take a look at the rules. Teams of 20 will compete to pull a Boeing 737 airplane 12 feet in the fastest time. Each team will be allowed one practice pole and one pole for time. The trophies will be awarded to the top three teams in the men's, co-ed, and women's divisions. Each co-ed team must have at least eight women. Each team is required to raise at least $750, but are encouraged to raise even more as prizes are awarded for top team and individual fundraisers. Now, back to the tarmac. Okay, Christian, we're getting ready to start with the co-ed division of the playing pole. Yeah, and it's, I see a lot of teams that were here from last year, and you know I'm excited to see if any of these teams can beat the scores from last year. Yeah, so up first we have the United teams. We just saw them right there. There they are, getting the rope ready, getting their grip. It looks like they have their safety gloves. That's important. You don't want to get a rope burn on this one. Exactly. And the United teams are actually, you know, at a bit of advantage because they can practice pulling these planes at work. Yeah. So what you're going to see here, as they're pulling, you're going to see a shot of the wheel going from the beginning right to the end. So you can see when they actually start and when they actually finish. And there they go. Oh. There's the whistle. Look at that. Uh, they got a, actually, they're pulling really well. They got a good grip. They got a good stance. And they did it. They, they did it. They pulled that plane about 12 feet. OK, United Teams is up next uh, for the plane pull. Christian, what do we know? Yeah, so again, United. They're a team that actually can, you know, practice these runs, so probably are going to have a good time. Well, I think they have a really unfair advantage, too, because they work with planes all the time. Exactly. I mean, this is their plane. So it looks like they're getting ready. They're get and there they go. There's the whistle. And they're pulling. And, oh, they got a good – oh, one went down. They're one went quick. down. Very quick. And yes, yes, yes. And there we are. What do we have? Wow. Uh, so – with an unofficial time of 11.5 seconds. Mm -hmm. Now that's an unofficial time. That's that's what we have unofficial. here. Unofficial. Good try for United team. You can write it. All right, we're getting ready to start with our next team, Christian. CBiz looks like they're getting ready to go. And CBiz, it, it sounds like they're all about business. Well, hopefully, because <laughs> they got to pull this plane faster than the last team. You know, right. the whole goal is to try and win. Not just that, but to raise money for a special organization, uh, uh, a Special Olympics Ohio. Yes, okay. and it's a it's a special day because this is the tenth annual United CLE Plane Pool. Okay, they're on the rope. We're just waiting for that whistle for that horn, and they're gonna start pulling like they've never pulled before. I mean, that is a big jet. I I, I still can't get over that. <laughs> okay, now they're waiting. Make sure everything's set. 
make sure the brakes aren't on the plane, too. That makes it really <laughs> hard. <laughs> Emergency brake. <laughs> not good, not good. Okay, pretty soon that whistle will come. And got their anchor there. Uh, he's getting ready. Get that, he's got that whole thing where he wraps the rope around the arm. That's right. good. Probably give that extra force. Oh, it's a beautiful day today. Perfect. Beautiful day for a plane pole. This is the 10th annual plane pole, by the way. I can't believe 10 years has been going on. Seabiz, right. all ready to go. There they are. And there's the whistle, and they're off. And that plane is moving. Look at how fast that plane is going. Oh, it's going. moving. It's moving fast. Oh, this is a good time. This, They're rolling. And there it is. Wow, wow. And with the unofficial time of 9.26, Seabiz. Seabiz did a great pull. So with the second team, that's the best score today <laughs> so far. <laughs> well, you know, joining us right now is a special guest, Jessica Stewart. She's president of Special Olympics Ohio. Good Thanks morning. for joining. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. Yeah, beautiful day out here at Cleveland's Hop Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Mm -hmm. So for a fantastic event. Yeah. Oh, tell us about this event. This has been going on 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. So I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, this might be the year with the largest amount of teams. I think we have about 54 teams competing, um, all supporting the great work of Special Olympics Ohio. So fantastic. Um, you know, I, I think you know, the planes poll starts at 10 o'clock. It goes pretty much all day. We have a kids poll, which will be pretty exciting later. And then uh, um, everybody kind of hangs out. It's a great time to uh, have some fellowship around their teams as well as really uh, get a chance to meet our athletes. So it's really fantastic. Yeah. And so talk about how important the fundraiser part of this is. Yeah. So this fundraising is one of about eight fundraising events, nine fundraising events we have across the state of Ohio, but this is the only one of its type here in Cleveland and actually across Ohio at this point. So. Um, the money that we raised today and all the way up to this event, and then we continue to have some money that comes in afterwards, really supports the sports and competition side of those 22,000 athletes that we have here in Ohio. So uh, sp support sports, training, um, competitions, local competitions, uh, regional competitions, and all the way up to the state level. So, yeah. But how much money on average is raised for the Special Olympics at an event like this? Uh, I think this year's goal is about 100000 I think last I knew we were pretty close. So uh, really excited about that and can't do it without our great partnerships and uh, the team efforts and really the folks who really raised the money for us on a grassroots level to really support our athletes. Yeah, because it's on all yeah. the individual teams to raise yes. that money. And yes. we got some big, some big money yeah, raised today. Yeah, there's a team fee and then obviously each of the participants on the teams of 10 uh, then raise as much money as they possibly can to support the work of, of Special Olympics Ohio. And yeah. so talk about collaboration with the airport on yes. putting this together. Yes, yes. So the um, airport has been fantastic. I mean, anything we need, they are here for. Um, and actually, I was just talking to some folks here from the airport earlier today and said, this is truly what they want to do. This is about their mission. It's not about the planes taking off and landing. It's really about being part of the community. So I think um, the collaboration is critical and important for us to be able to really continue this uh, this event year after year. And right now, Jessica, we just had another team just pull. And my goodness, they were fast. Oh, look at them. This is great. It's just great. I think this is the third team. Yeah, this is the third team off today. Team yeah, they can do this. They can actually yeah. get together and pull the plane. Yes. Yeah, I did it last year. I'm not doing it this year, but I did it okay. last year. So. Well, when is the next senior game? Or uh, when is the next Special Olympics games? Yeah. So the Special Olympics games are coming up in a couple weekends. I or I think it's um, October 18th and 19th, or it might be the 19th and 20th. It's that Saturday and um, Saturday and Sunday is our state bowling event. So that's at a state level. Um, what's interesting is a lot of folks feel um, and say to me, you know, when is the Special Olympics? And, um, you know, my message to them is Special Olympics happens year round. There is always something happening in every neighborhood with every local organization across the state of Ohio, whether it's local, um, you know, or regional. And, pe and people are training, you know, coaches are coaching and right. officials are officiating every single day. So um, we are year round. Um, so our next big competition is state bowling coming up. I think All it's right. the third weekend in October. So, yeah. If people want more information, where can they go? Yes, you can go to SOOH.org. Everything you could imagine is on there from our unified initiatives to our local programs. Um, and, and we feature athletes all the time. So i uh, love for you guys to log in, check it out, and, um, and be part of Special Olympics. All right. Well, Jessica yeah. Stewart, president of Special Olympics thank Ohio. You. Thank you. Thank you so much for Thank you us. very much. Thank you. Thank you.
The second co-ed team for the Cleveland Freight Association is up on the ropes, and they're getting ready. Uh, uh, being freight guys, yeah, they I can mean, do this. They should be pretty strong, and I'm thinking their technique should be pretty good. Yeah, you know, I think the plane is now we're on a fourth. It's loosened up a bit. I think they're going to have a good pull, and they're getting ready to go. Yeah, so, I mean, pulling this plane, I would say, is pretty much mostly about technique. Yeah, and they got the technique right there. It's hey, wow, that was fast. Wow, okay. with an unofficial time of six point six eight, six point six eight. Great Cleveland poll. Freight Association for their second team. I think we're going to see be seeing some great things from them in this poll. Up next in the co-ed division, the team MFS Supply. Christian, and what do so we know? MFS Supply is one of the top five teams in raising money for this Special Olympics. They actually raised $1,205 to today's pot. Oh, that's great. And congratulations to MFS Supply and, and all the teams who have raised money. They are, yeah, they're the top five, but every team has raised money for Special Olympics Ohio. It's, it's just amazing. Right. And each team has to raise a minimum of $750 to participate in this playing pool. And all that going to such a great organization. Okay, as we're here at the 10th annual United Cleveland Plain Pole, the Special Olympics Ohio. MFS Supply is getting ready there on the ropes and they're getting their feet firmly planted and ready to pull. And they're off, there they go. Slow start, can they make up that time? They're struggling, they're pulling, and there they are. Official time, Christian. Okay, with the unofficial time of 8.66 seconds, MFS Supply. A good pull and a good amount of money raised from MFS, MFS Supply. Okay, our next team, Christian, is Constant Aviation Next Tent. And Constant Aviation has actually participated in this plane pool a number of times. Yeah, no, I even I see they have several teams in the plane pool this year. Dressed all in orange, some have capes. They are superheroes to be able to pull a plane like that. <laughs> yeah, so with them being a returning team, you know, they, they have this down pack, so hopefully they should have a pretty good time. Yeah, now before every team goes, they do a practice pull on a smaller vehicle just to get the feel of it, just to get ready, just to stretch out. And now we're waiting for the for the horn. They're getting started. They got a good grip. They're ready. They want to make this plane take off. There they go. A little slot out of the gate, but they're picking it up right now, and they got a good move, a good move. And there they are. Okay with the unofficial time of 7.53 seconds. Constant aviation next in. Great pull, you guys, great pull. Okay, we're up with the next team. They're getting ready, uh, and then there's the horn, and they're, they're off. off. Oh, they got a great move. Oh, that's quick. Wow. And with the unofficial time of 6.68 seconds. That actually ties with the unofficial of the Cleveland Freight Association, too. So that was that's a pretty great, good pull. great pull, yeah. That is a Medina County Career Center. <laughs> and they're also a big, <laughs> a big money raiser, too. <laughs> right. They raised fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, up next is the team of Meaden and Moore. They are getting ready to uh, to take over this plane pole. Don't know too much about this team, but uh, they're a global company. That's all I know. Yeah, <laughs> but they're going. They're getting ready to go. So the plane pool participants must be at least 14 years of age to pull this plane. And uh, minors under the age of 18 must have a waiver signed by their parent 
but there is also a kid's playing pool after this. Yes, and what we're seeing here, they're actually accountants and tax specialists from Eden and more. So let's see if they have crunched the numbers properly to pull this plane. Got some pretty tough times to beat. They're starting off kind of oh, slow. Oh, there they go, but they, they got the groove going, and that plane is moving. And with the unofficial time of 8.66 seconds, I mean, that number has come up a few times It has today. definitely come up a few times today, and meeting and more, definitely, uh, they definitely did a good pull. They did a good pull. Okay, this team is up, uh, they're up here. We're getting ready to start the next team at the co-ed division of the 10th annual United Cleveland Plain Pole. They're getting ready. They got some tough competition here, tough tough times to beat. Definitely, it's a, it's a few times that have been the same, so. And there they go. Oh, they got some big guys on that team and they're pulling that plane. <laughs> Careful there, there they go. Okay, that time was pretty, Pretty good with the unofficial time of 7.93 seconds. All right, and we'll be back with the next plane pole. Coming up to the line right now, up to the rope, is the Cleveland Freight Association, Christian. Okay, and Cleveland Freight Association is also a team that has multiple teams in this plane pool. And one thing I want to say is there's a men's, women's, co-ed, mm. and public safety division. But to be a part of this co-ed division, you have to have a minimum of eight women on your team. Okay. And with the with the freight team, they know how to haul some heavy stuff, and I'm sure a plane is nothing to them. All right, so they're lining up on the rope. They're getting their grip. They're getting their stance. They're waiting for that horn. Bark calling out some last-minute directions. There's the horn, and there they go. They're starting to pull. They're getting the groove. They're getting the groove, and that plane is moving fast now. And there they are. With the unofficial time of 8.5 seconds, Cleveland Freight Association won. Wow. That's just amazing. I mean, it takes some skill, and it's, and it's, it's a team pool. Yeah. You can't have slackers. You're only Everybody has to put in pull their weight. No, you're only, oh, there you go. You're only as strong as the weakest puller. Exactly. Which would probably be me if I were out there. <laughs> okay, next team is Cision. They are a global cloud-based communications company right out here in Cleveland, and they're getting ready to pull. They're getting ready to, okay. to try this out. This sounds like a new team. I'm not familiar. I don't think I've heard or seen this team from past years, so let's see what they can do. All right, and there they go, and they're ready. They look like yeah, they're in good stance. They're going to give this plane a good pull. There's the horn. It's not as easy as it looks, and they're struggling, but there they are. Now they got that groove. Once that plane starts moving. Okay, with the unofficial time of 7.98 seconds. Yeah. Decision. Yeah, I was going to say, once that plane starts moving, you get that going, that, that forward motion takes right. over. It becomes easier and easier. But out the gate... Not so easy. That's a pretty good time so far. 7.98, very well done. All right, Christian, Team Sheets is coming up to the to the jet and to the rope. One thing I like about Sheets, not just their gas, they make some great subs. Oh yeah, I mean, I frequently stop at Sheets. So, I mean, it's a great team. And, you know, like we said, it's all for fundraising mm -hmm. to go towards the Special Olympics. Well, let's see if they're as good as pulling a plane as they are as putting tomatoes on my sandwich. <laughs> Here's Team Sheets up at the rope. I got a good, yeah, well, we'll see here. They're getting ready, they're in stance, they're waiting for that horn. And there they go, and they're trying. Like I said, it's slow at the outset, but there it goes, that forward motion. Starting like I said, it's pushing them along, making it much easier, and there they are. And with the unofficial time of 8.03 seconds, 
Sheets. Great job, guys. Great job. Okay, Christian, up next is CCBDD slash SAW, the Cuyahoga County Board of Developmental Disabilities. Right, and this team is actually one of the top five earners of the co-ed division, raising $1,500. Oh, that's just amazing. Just to be able to grab that kind of money for the Special Olympics Ohio, to raise that kind of money, to help those those athletes, it's just so important. Yes, and it, it, it goes for, for so much, clinics and different sporting events. It's, it, it's so great to help these kids. Coaches, athletes, they're all benefited by it. Okay, so they're getting their grip on the rope. They're getting in position, talking about some last minute strategies, trying to make a, a good time on this pole. Yeah. I, the anchor, I think I think they should wrap it around their waist. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be a Good There's technique. the horn, and there they go. Boy, they're starting off pretty good. They got a good solid pole here. And there it is. And with the unofficial time of 8.52 seconds. Team CCBDD slash SAW. Great showing at this year's 10th annual United Cleveland Plain Pole. Thank you. Okay, Constant Aviation's coming up to the rope. You know, these are the guys that work on and repairing these airplanes. Yeah. So they know a thing or two. Yeah, so maybe it can give them an advantage. You know, they might have some ins and outs to the planes, how to start mo making it move pretty quick. And this is the team on purchasing, so they know all about the little intricacies that are purchased to make these Their planes anchor go. has a, a cape on. Uh, I he's, think he's ready to fly. Channel Superman. <laughs> <laughs> he might just take off if they pull this fast enough. Constant aviation purchasing, waiting for the horn. I like his socks. He's going with the tube sock look, three so stripes. Sometimes the socks make the whole deal. Okay, they're waiting. Make sure the plane's ready. I think he also has some good shoes to pull on this oh, thing, yeah. too. Got to have some good grit. And I got to imagine on a day like today with that tarmac, it's pretty hot out there. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're getting ready, waiting for that horn, and then they're off. Oh, they're having a slow start at it, but that plane will get moving for them. Keep it going, keep it going, and that's it. And with the unofficial time of 7.53 seconds, constant aviation purchasing. They may have just purchased their way into the finals. Oh, yeah. That was a pretty good time. Okay, so this next team up is superheroes to kids in Ohio. And I mean, this is so great. This group, they go around, visit kids, and I mean, who doesn't love superheroes? Marvels, Capcom, DC, you name it. I see some of, some of my favorite superheroes out here ready to pull this Boeing 737 plane. I mean, Batman, Superwoman. Spider-Man, Iron Man, the Hulk, you got him as your anchor, Captain America. I mean, you name it, some of your favorite superheroes are getting ready to pull this plane. And then, I mean, this is probably one of the most interesting teams I've seen today with these uh, costumes. And they're off. I think they're getting some good pull and leverage from the Hulk. Okay, and with the unofficial time of 8.09 seconds for superheroes to kids in Ohio. Great job, guys.
Okay, Christian, up next is a team called Totally Toned. And I'm just guessing, but it sounds like a gym. Even better, these guys stay in the gym, they're toned up, got some muscles, so I mean, it should help pull this jet. Or they could be musicians. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's it, that's a good one. <laughs> Either way, they're getting ready to pull this jet, and they're looking oh, to- Oh, this guy uh, looks look big. Good, oh. Yeah, these are some big dudes. This must be from a totally toned gym. And they're on the rope. They're waiting for that horn to sound. Let's see what Toad Toad can do. There they go. Let's see if they're all on top. They're moving that plane fast. Or not. Wow. The unofficial time of 7.05 seconds. Totally Toned brought it to the road. Yeah, they sure did. The Totally Toned personal workout trainers. They gave that jet a workout. Okay, the next team stepping up is DuPont Team Aero Co-Ed. And this is another team that has been in this pool, you know, for multiple years. So they may have an extra edge on knowing how to start this up. So hopefully they can be a team that moves on, you know, with one of the best times. So Team DuPont, Arrow, co-ed, stepping up to the rope. And so this playing pool benefits more than 22,000 Special Olympic athletes in the state of Ohio. These athletes compete and train year round in 18 different sports. To learn more about Special Olympics, just visit their website. They're moving. Team DuPont with the unofficial time of 7.20 seconds. Team DuPont Arrow co -ed. Okay, up next it's the Medina County Career Center. Yes, and they're actually in the top five of money raised for the co-ed division, raising $1,521. Okay, and they're there off. they go, they are off. Oh boy, they have a great jump, a great jump on this one. Wow, what a pull. With the unofficial time of 6.65 seconds. The Medina County Career Center was bringing it at this year's playing poll. All right, Christian, coming up next to the rope for the co-ed division is Constant Aviation, the operations team. Yeah, and Constant Aviation, like we say, another team that has multiple teams, and they're based right here at the airport. Yeah, that's right. So, okay, they're picking up the rope, and they're getting ready to show everybody what Constant Aviation is made of. These guys are strong. wonder if they got some practice pools here. Okay, so we're waiting on the horn. They're getting ready. Got to go in with that traditional superhero cape. And there's the horn and they're off. Okay. They're moving. They got a good pull on this one. They got, it's nice and smooth and there it is. With the unofficial time of 8.06 seconds, constant aviation operations. Okay, they were strong, Christian. But I have some people here who are stronger, and joining me right now is Green Lantern and his cast of superheroes. They just did their poll. They're actually with the superheroes, the kids in Ohio. Lantern, welcome. Good to meet you. Oh, thank you very much for having us on the show. We heard that there was an opportunity to benefit Special Olympics with a plane pull, and we flew in from all vectors of outer space to be here and took time out of fighting crime. We're superheroes to kids in Ohio. We're a 501c3, we visit children in hospitals, we go all over Northern Ohio to try to bring smiles to kids. And we actually had two super kids and families that cheered us on and I think that they helped us pull the plane even faster. What's it like when you show up to a hospital and you walk into a kid's room and they might see you or even the Hulk or Thor? Uh, it's, it's magical. I mean, we have some wonderful volunteers here. They give up all their time. We almost have 80 members from all walks of life they do so many things, uh, volunteering, 
And w when they walk in and see a child going through adversity, sometimes the tears turn to a smile right away. And that's why we do this. And so talk about the importance of participating in this playing pool. Uh, it's a chance to give back. And I think all of us here realize that superheroes have powers and they use them to help other people. That's why we do what we do. The people here who are putting on the plane pool and the Special Olympians, they are the real heroes, and that's why we're here to honor the real heroes. That's why we dress up as we do. Yeah, well, personally, I don't think it's fair that you guys are here. You guys have a lot of strength here. You guys made your poll at an unofficial time of 8.05. I mean, Hulk really just smashed that jet, <laughs> didn't he? Uh, you know, Hulk tones it down. We're told to tone our powers down once we get in here. Otherwise, it really wouldn't be fair. It, it, I mean, you've got Spider-Man that can lift 80 tons. So we've got to spot the people who lead here. But it's, it's all for a great cause. If you're ever interested in volunteering, you both have that superhero look. You can find us on Facebook, Superheroes to Kids in Ohio, and www.superheroestokidsinohio.org. I think you should think about it. We could use you. We Green Lantern, you. absolutely. Uh, and you guys had a big, something, a big cheer you wanted to yell out? Uh, yes, cheer, are we ready? On three, one, two, three. Go kids! For the kids! For the kids! All right, that is Superheroes and Kids in Ohio. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys. Okay, and sticking with that superhero theme, we just talked to a bunch of superheroes, mm. and the next team is UCG Avengers. All right, looks like they're about to... <laughs> show their superpowers. Look at the anchor. Okay. <clears throat> this is a great anchor. I think he can give a lot of pull. <laughs> and they're off. Look at that. Oh, they got a great run on this one. Great run. They're really pulling hard. And there it is. And with the unofficial time of 8.39 seconds, UCG Avengers. Yeah, they brought it today. They really did bring it. Okay, we sound like a broken record, but here is Constant Aviation again with their fourth team, Team CLI. And see, the good thing about Constant Aviation, having multiple teams, that's multiple dollars yeah. being raised. They probably raise a lot more money if they're put together as one team. You can see how much they make. But yeah, these guys are definitely ready to go. Constant Aviation, again with the trademark orange shirt and superhero cape. Yes, and these teams, have to pull this 150,000 pound plane 12 feet for the best time. And the best time wins. That's right, and that's what they're looking for. And let's see if Constant Aviation CLI can do it. And there's the horn, and there they go. Uh, they got a nice, uh, a strong takeoff there. Uh, they're moving fast. There we are. And with the unofficial time of 8.32 seconds, Constant Aviation CLI. And they're looking pretty proud of themselves right now, not only for pulling the plane, but for the amount of money they raise for Special Olympics Ohio. Okay, up next in the co-ed division is Curb Appeal. They're a, a painting company that services everyone around Cleveland. Curb Appeal, I, li I like the name. You know, so it's a it's a team that I'm not familiar with as far as being here mm. in past years. But let's see what they can do this year at this 10th annual United CLE Cleveland Playing Pool. And they're getting ready. They're waiting for that horn. Good stance. You know, it's really important to bend those knees. You don't want to pull with your back. You right. Want to use your knees and, and use your whole center of gravity to pull that plane to get a good. It's it's just a giant game of tug of war is what we're talking about. A hundred and fifty thousand pounds. That's crazy. And there they go, and they're pulling that plane starting off. They're having a tight tight. There we go. Slow off the gate, but they made it. They made it. And with the unofficial time of seven point four six seconds. Great curb run by appeal. Team Curb Appeal, yeah. All right, up next, it's the, the host of this year's Plane Pool, Team CLE. And, you know, it's a very special day because we're celebrating 
the 94th anniversary of Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. That's right, and who uh, we're seeing right here in the center, that's Robert Kennedy. He's the director of port control, the director of Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Uh, very, he, he, he told me earlier he's really excited about getting out there and trying to pull this plane. Yeah, and you know, for them to put this event on, to host this event, I mean, it's so great because it's raising so much money for Special Olympics. Yeah, now the whole team is set, and they're ready to show everyone why Cleveland Hopkins Airport is one well, of the best airport around. Okay, now they've got their anchor in place. He's got a good, tight grip on that rope. And they're off, and they're off Team CLE, showing everybody how to pull the plane, and there they go. Great rope, great pick, great, great pull. <laughs> That's it. With the unofficial time of 7.49 seconds. 7.49 is a great time to have at this plane pole. Team CLE. Happy 94th anniversary. Okay, up next, Christian, it's a, a team of good lifters, CrossFit SAOL out of Twinsburg. Okay, so CrossFit, obviously, they're working out. So they're ready to pull this rope with CrossFit. You do a lot of rope work. Mm -hmm. So they got some, some, some clear advantages. I think this team knows exactly what they're doing, and I think they're hoping they make it into the finals. Yeah, and with, with the playing pool being one of the hottest events at the airport, we can see because there's so many teams this year, and this is probably the most teams that signed up over this past 10 years of this event. Okay, so CrossFit SAOL is, it's on the rope, and they're getting ready to go. I was waiting for that horn. And they're off, there they go, CrossFit SAOL. They're tugging. This is, this is so much easy, this is so easy for them. <laughs> this shouldn't even be fair, there we go. And with the unofficial time of 8.28 seconds. 8.28 seconds, great run for CrossFit. SAOL, but only one team did better than them, and that's Team CLE. And joining me right now is the director of the airport, Robert Kennedy. Robert, welcome. Uh, thank you for having us. Thank you guys for being out here today to celebrate this big community event. Well, what was it like out there pulling that jumbo jet? I, I realize how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely built for comfort and not speed anymore, but thank God we had a great team behind us, you know. Well, tell, talk about this great day. People coming out for Special Olympics Ohio, pulling that jet, just raising a lot of good money. Well, I, it, throughout my career, it has uh, been ingrained in me that the greatest benefit of an airport happens outside of the fences. What we do in the community and bringing economic vitality, helping to bring jobs uh, to the community, and this is just an extension of that. How do we benefit the community? And, what a worthwhile cause in, um, in Special Olympics. We had one earlier this year for lymphoma, and uh, we got a beautiful blessed day with this, right? And it's a special day. It's the 94th anniversary. Just talk about that. Well, uh, uh, Cleveland Hopkins uh, was the first municipally owned airport in this country. And in fact, uh, at Cleveland, a lot of people don't realize it, there were a lot of firsts at this airport. First radio control tower, first lighted airfield, uh, first train to the, from downtown from the city center to the airport, a lot of firsts. And um, this is just uh, an extension of what we do in the community and what we do as, as an airport family. You know, and Hopkins Airport keeps uh, changing and growing with the times. So you're doing a lot of great things for, for the Green Initiative, Sustainable Cleveland Initiative, things like that. Uh, absolutely. We are a much different, I mean, phenomenally different airport today than we were 10 years ago or just five years ago. Uh, we see it in the people that are making Cleveland Hopkins their airport of choice. Our numbers grow. Uh, this uh, week before last, we got our fourth uh, rating agency increase in 13 months of uh, in 13 months, and that's really unheard of. And it's the strength of what the teams are doing. Now, there are approximately 7,500, 7,400 people that, that come to the airport to work. Out of that is about 400 for the city of Cleveland. 
So we have to have a good uh, uh, atmosphere working together and, and helping. Sometimes we butt heads, but you let us need something to get done that's for the greater good. We come together like this plane pool. Cleveland Hopkins International Airport, it's one of the best. Director Kennedy, thank you so much for being thank with us Thank you, today. guys. I appreciate all you do for us. Thanks. All right. All right, have a good day. You too. Up next, Christian, another constant aviation team getting ready to pull. Uh, they must have at least a dozen teams on this roster yeah. this year. <laughs> and but the thing is, like we said, each team had to raise a minimum of $750. So multiple teams, mm -hmm. multiple dollars, all goes to the Special Olympics. Yeah, and that's so great. Just so great to help in an organization that just does so much for those athletes that could really need it, you know. Okay, so Constant Aviation's getting up on the on the rope again, ready to show everyone why they're the best around. And there's the horn, and they are starting their pole. Oh, they're moving fast. They're moving very fast. Very easy out the gate for them. And that's it. And with the unofficial time of 7.20 seconds, Constant wow. Aviation. One of the best polls today, I'd say. One of the best. Yeah. Top now, these five guys were practicing. Yeah, they're practicing. Okay. Lakewood High School is coming up at the rope, Christian. They're a top, a top earner. Yeah. Lakewood, a top five earner at this year's Cleveland Plain Pool brought in $1,238. That's just amazing. You know, Lakewood High School, it's a, I've been to that school, it's a big school and they really have good hearts. Here they are at the rope waiting for that horn. I got a lot of their, their teaching staff out there. One of the principals out there, but they're ready to go. Definitely the gym teacher should be there. Yeah. And there they go, Lakewood High School pulling that jumbo jet, the Boeing 737, trying to make it a good time. There they go, made it 12 feet. And with the unofficial time of 7.65 seconds, Lakewood High School, also one of the top earners mm -hmm. at this year's 10th annual United CLE playing pool. Congrats on a good run, Lakewood High School. Okay, up next in the co-ed division is Recess Creative. They're a full-service digital advertising and integrated marketing agency right here in downtown Cleveland, Christian. Yes, I actually live right down the street from Recess Creative. They're also a team that has participated in this playing pool multiple years. So they've raised a lot of money. Well, with, with being here multiple years, they probably have some great experience in knowing how this plane works, how to pull it, how to get a good start. Okay. Recess Creative is up at the rope, and they're getting ready. There's the horn. There they go, using all their might to pull that plane 12 feet. This one lady is doing it with her cell phone, and there's yeah. the end. <laughs> and with the unofficial time of 8.48 seconds, Recess Creative. Great pull. Great pull. <laughs> okay, coming up to the rope now is the Cleveland Air Traffic Control Center. These are our eyes in the sky, and hopefully they'll have their eyes on the prize today, Christian. Yeah, so, I mean, they're around planes often. So, you know, maybe they could have got a couple of practice pulls before this event mm -hmm. just to get that, you know, basic technique down yeah well i'm sure they have a good you know i'm sure they've been here many times so let's see how they do as they're setting up their team on the rope getting their anchor at the end and getting ready to make a, a 12 foot doesn't seem like a lot but when you're pulling a jumbo jet probably yeah. a mile probably seems Definitely. like a mile okay i think it, it's it's all about the start yeah because once you get it going that momentum will kick in. And now they're going, and that momentum has kicked in, like you said, Christian, and they're doing, doing a great pull on this. Wow. With the unofficial time of 
1.75 seconds. Again, the, the CLE team, they're getting good pulls. I think they're practicing a lot. Coming up right now, it's the co-ed Cleveland Police uh, team, uh, one of the strongest teams we've ever seen here at the Plain Pole. Yeah, that's one thing. The public safety teams always do good in this competition. Now, look at them uh, getting set up. I got word that Councilman Brian Casey is on this team helping them out. Yeah, Casey's here. He's participated in this event a number of years. Mm-hmm. Oh, there he is. He's at the end. He's got his gloves. He's ready to give a to, to pull this plane and, and give support not only to the, the police but to the Special Olympics of Ohio. And they're getting ready. They're in position. This is going to be a fast pull. I'm predicting. We're going to have a good time. You know, there's also an aspect of fun and exhilaration that goes into it when you grab that rope and you're looking at you're looking down that plane and, and, and there they go. And they got a great Cleveland start. Police. They got a great start. Wow. wow. Cleveland police never, never seem to underestimate with the unofficial time of 6.84 seconds. Yeah, that was definitely a great pull by the Cleveland police. They showed up and showed out. That's right. Next team stepping up to the rope is the Cuyahoga MBB Pullers. You know, originally in the Miz Division, they've also crossed over to the Co-Ed Division. And they've raised $771, you know, all going to the Cleveland Special Olympics. This team is at the rope. They're getting ready to pull this 150,000 pound airliner 12 feet. They're hoping to get the best time today. And they're off. They're pulling. And with the unofficial time of nine point four three seconds great pool Cuyahoga MBB pullers coming up next in the co-ed division team Technoform. they're at the rope and uh, oh, they're looking to have a good start I think here yeah techno form team techno form another team that sounds like a new team that's here so Let's see what they have this year for this 10th annual United CLE playing pool. Okay, their team is on the line. They're getting the roll, they're ready to roll. It's got to be hot out there. Now the sun's coming up, it's about, it's, it, the sun is right overhead. I'm sure it's pretty hot in that tarmac. Okay, waiting for the horn sound. They're getting ready. Okay. And there's the horn and they're off. They got a pretty good start here. They're moving, they're moving a good clip. And with the unofficial time of 8.38 seconds, Team Techno form. All right, great pull for them. 6.84, yeah. Joining me right now, joining us right now is Cleveland City Councilman Brian Casey. Hi. Welcome. How are you guys? Good. And who do we have here? This is my daughter, Brianna. Welcome, Brianna. Hi. Councilman, what was it like being out there pulling that plane in the tarmac? It's uh, hot and heavy. It is, uh, it's about 80 degrees out here, but it's uh, probably a good 90, 95 out there. And even though you're out there for just a short moment that plane is extremely heavy so by the time you're done you're with that five to ten seconds it's like being out there for a half hour and so the public safety teams they always show up and show out and you guys had an unofficial time of 6.84 seconds just just talk about public safety and always putting on a good show 
for this event? Well, you know, uh, everybody thinks of public safety, and, and of course you think crime, right? Um, but this is a way for, for the Cleveland Police Department to, to show off in a, in, a different, in a different manner, right? Um, for the last 10 years, we've been pulling here at, here at the, the plane pool. Every year we finish first or second. Uh, we like to brag that we even took the uh, uh, fire department because they couldn't beat us and, and they don't show up anymore, right? Um, but public safety is, uh, is, uh, is a great thing. They're a huge supporter of Special Olympics uh, and the CLE plane pool. And this is just a, a great way for the whole city to really show off to, to uh, an entity uh, of individuals who don't always sit in the, in the limelight. You know, talk about today we're also raising money for the Special uh, Special Olympics of Ohio. Talk about how important that yeah. is. Well, you know, uh, I don't know if, if you guys have ever been involved with Special Olympics, but, but we're involved with Brianna and Special Olympics. And, and you know, it's such a heartwarming organization, right? Uh, you know, we, we kind of take ourselves for granted because we, you know, we don't have much to, to overcome in life. We may complain and argue, uh, but you know, developmental disability or anything like that uh, is a huge obstacle for individuals. And for it to be as supported by, you know, Special Olympics Ohio is, is huge, not only for, you know, individuals like me and my wife who, you know, have a, have a special needs child, um, but, you know, for those individuals as well. And so this is the 10th anniversary of this plane pool. Just talk about how great this event is for our city, just to show off, you know, unique ways to earn money. Right, you know, I don't know how many people ever get the opportunity to come this far into the airport, right? Or get to see th the airport from, you know, this aspect. Uh, but it's, this is one of the bigger plane pools, you know, in the country. Uh, we raised some of the most money. Uh, this may be the, the, the highest grossing plane pool in the state of Ohio, which goes toward, uh, all, all goes toward Special Olympics. Uh, and, 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 you know, it's, it's a way for the city to shine uh, to individuals who are not as fortunate as, as most of us are. Plus, it's a lot of fun. Brianna, did you have fun out there today pulling yeah. that plane? All right. Talking, it is. To what? Talking to the mic. Did you have no. fun today? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Councilman Casey Brianna, thank yeah. you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you, guys. Right. We appreciate it. Have a great rest it. of your day. All right, take care. As we were interviewing Councilman Brian Casey, the team that went was actually Strongsville Special Olympics, and they're actually the top earner for the co-ed division, bringing in $5,720. That is just amazing for a co-ed team and a Special Olympics team to boot. You know, they do a lot of great work for, for the different athletes out there with, with special needs and disabilities to bring in five thousand dollars is something very special yeah and the team that's at the rope now is constant aviation women team they've actually brought in seven hundred and seventy five dollars well this team again constant aviation has been here for a while and here they go with the women's division boy they got a great start they're showing up the men right now oh yeah great pull and with the unofficial time of 8.12 seconds, wow. constant aviation women. They have two teams. This was their first team. Great and, job. Great way to kick off the women's division. And constant aviation is located right here at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. They're a leading provider of MRO services for the aviation industry. All right, Christian, coming up right now is the second women's team for Constant Aviation. And they're the second Constant Aviation team, but they're the number one earner for the women's division, bringing in 940 bucks. You know, Constant Aviation, they, they never, they never, they all, they're always surprised me with everything they do. It seems like every year they raise more and more money, and they're just a powerhouse team, both in men's, women's, and the co-ed. Okay, the ladies are in line on the rope waiting for that horn. And there they go. They got a pretty decent start, but that, that plane, there they go. Now they're really moving. Now that plane gets that forward motion. And there they are, they're 12 feet. And with the unofficial time of 8.65 seconds, constant aviation women, team two. Great job for the ladies, great job. Coming up to the rope now in the women's division, it's the Cleveland Police, ladies of, uh, of Cleveland's finest. Right, and you know, we've seen the Cleveland Police co-ed team come out, get a great time. So let's see what the women can do in this women's division 
with the Cleveland Police team. I think they're going to do pretty good. Like we said, they always come and show out. Yeah, this should be a really exciting poll. Uh, it looks like they're getting on the line right now, and they're just ready to uh, uh, ready to take their division, I think. Okay, so there they are lining up. Good-sized team. There's your anchor at the end. She's getting in position, wrapping her leg around that rope, getting that arm wrapped in. Waiting for that horn. And there they go. They got a good, strong start. And they are pulling. They are pulling, and there, there they go. They made it 12 feet. And with the unofficial time of 8.16 seconds, that was a, definitely a really good show by the Cleveland Police Force. Yes, it was. Coming up to the rope in the women's division, Team Estrogenics looking to make a strong showing. I think this is one of their first times here. Yeah, late entry, mm -hmm. but they might they might have came to play. I think I'm, that, yeah. I'm excited to see what this team can do. Got a great creative name. Yeah, they could be, they could be getting ready to put on a good show for us today here at the plane pole. There's the horn. Off they go. Great start. They're really moving now. Getting that 12 feet is not easy. And there they are. And with the unofficial time of 9.83 seconds, Team Estrogenics. Looking very happy with their with their poll. Okay, next team stepping up to the rope is Constant Aviation Three in the men's division. Yeah, that's right, Christian. One of the top five earners uh, for, for of raising money for the men's division, raising seven hundred and seventy dollars. Yeah, Constant Aviation, another team that's located right here at the airport that has multiple teams in the co-ed, men's, and women's division. Yeah, we should be seeing a good show for them right now. Constant Aviation throughout the whole day. Uh, co-ed, women's team, they've just been putting out some great times. And they have Thor as a helpful anchor. Oh, well, that can't be fair. Okay, here they go. And they're off. Thor is pulling with Constant Aviation Team 3. They're moving. They're moving. It's like pulling will hill. Wow. Up. With the unofficial time of 6.78 seconds, wow. Constant Aviation 3 of the men's division. What a great run by Constant Aviation, but that's kind of expected now, isn't it? Coming up next in the men's division, Team Testosterones, which is a, it's a great team name to have. <laughs> right, and this has always been one of my favorite teams. You know, they've been here for a number of years, raising so much money for Special Olympics. Yeah, you know, it, they are fun to watch. They always put up good times, and, and I, I know they're going to they're gonna do a good show for us today. And, I mean, creative name. They're just coming to put on a show. Yeah. All right, so they're getting in line. They got plenty of people here going down to their anchor. Yeah, these are some tough-looking guys. I think they're going to pull this plane pretty darn fast. You know, it's interesting, you look around, you see this is still an active airport. You see different jets behind them getting ready for takeoff. You know, and then here we are in the middle. <laughs> okay, and there's the whistle, and they're off. It's a slow start, but they're going to make that up right here. There's that forward motion we were talking about. That plane's really moving. And with the unofficial time of 8.10 seconds. Wow, great, great pull for the testosterones. Joining us right now is the communications manager for Hopkins Airport, Michelle Dinia. Michelle, thanks for joining us. Sure, thanks for having me. Talk about today, what a great day is, not just for, you know, for Hopkins, but for the Special Olympics of Ohio. You know, putting this event together, as you can imagine, there's a lot of moving parts. It's hard, it's stressful. I usually have, you know, a lot of anxiety leading up to it, but once you get here and everything starts moving, it's just, it's so worth it. It makes my heart so full to watch this day and watch it unfold and see people have fun. 
because um, that's what it's all about. And having the Special Olympics athletes here and participating, um, Shay and Sharita Taylor always come out. Um, they're some of our, we call them our notorious, our well-known Cleveland Special Olympic athletes. Um, so to have them all here and have um, the athletes participating with everybody and seeing how many people um, get creative with their teams and, um, you know, we had, um, I don't, I can't remember the name of the team, but they were all dressed as superheroes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And they had two kids with them that are battling cancer that went out on the airfield with them. And it's like, like those are the moments that like all the, the sweat in, I, I won't say tears, but all the sweat and everything going into this event, you know, it's moments like that that just make it so worth it and just makes this day so perfect to, to me. Mm -hmm. And so it's the 10th anniversary for mm -hmm. the plant pool, but also the 94th anniversary for the airport. Just yes. talk about that. You know, some people don't realize how much history there is at Hopkins Airport. You know, we are one of the first, we are the first airports to have a, a public transit, the RTA. Um, the first ground to tower radio system, the first nighttime um, air airfield lights. I mean, there's so many things that were first here at our airport and people don't realize that kind of stuff. So, you know, we like to educate them. You know, we put in um, a hall of fame in our food court that has um, a timeline of all the different historical facts from the airport, you know, some bigger than others, but just to, to educate people on how important the airport is and how many milestones. I mean, we set a lot of standards for industry um, with some of the things that we accomplished at our airport um, throughout history. You know, one thing I like about the airport whenever I go flying is as soon as I walk in, I am surrounded by art. Lots of art, mm -hmm. uh, photos, uh, paintings, everything like that. Talk about that, the, the art initiative you have there. Sure, we have a whole art program. It's run by Sherry Cloud at our airport. Um, so she'll do a call for artists. So if you go on our website, we have a whole art program page on our website. Um, there's public call for artists. Um, employees within the city of Cleveland can do the employee gallery. There's an open call for that right now. Um, so you're, you're able to submit your own artwork and there's sometimes different themes or different methods. Um, sometimes it's photo, sometimes it's paint. Um, but there's, there's a constant, um, I think like every six months she tries to rotate out the different galleries so there's always something new for people to see. Sometimes it's a feature artist like down in our Stephanie Tubbs Jones gallery. So we try and change it up so that even frequent, frequent flyers get to see something different every now and then when they're at the airport. Well, Michelle, I know you're very, very busy today. I want to thank you for stopping by our booth. Thank you. It's really good having you today. Thank you guys for being out here. I appreciate thank you. You. <laughs> you know that. Okay, and Constant Aviation 4. They're pulling right now. One of the biggest uh, earners raising $750 for Special Olympics Ohio. Doing a great pull. And with an unofficial time of 6.28 seconds, constant aviation four. One of the best times we've had all day long. Okay, so right now, right here at the uh, Hopkins plane pole, it's a lot of fun. Looking around, we have bounce houses and, and a, lot of, a lot of youngsters having a good time, uh, food trucks, and looks like uh, some football games out there. Yes, yeah, so I catch. mean, it's a very family-friendly event. Yeah, that's right. So if you haven't been down this year, next year is a great time to come by. Bring your family uh, and watch the plane pole, but you can play here. You can see some of the uh, the trucks are out there to explore. Uh, there's the one, probably some of the big airport fire trucks, and you can go in and look at that. You can go in and get a tour then, of that. Although, you know, people have to be 14 years of age to pull these planes, they also have one for 6 to 13-year-olds, which will be the kids' pool at the very end of this event. Yeah, people are just having a lot of fun. And uh, right now we're getting ready to go on to our next plane pole. It's Team DuPont coming up to the rope. Team DuPont looking to have, uh, got some big guys here, looking to have a beat that time of a constant aviation from before. Looking to have a fast time here. Okay, now they're on the rope. There's a nice shot of the IX Center. That's where we're staying at today. That's where we're doing this. As always, the IX Center for the 10th anniversary of the plane pole. And Team DuPont was actually a top five earner with $901. And that's the most out of this men's division. So congratulations to Team DuPont. There's the horn. There they go. Let's see if they can. And they're having a good start right now. They're, they're pulling fast. They're pulling Woo! really fast. With the unofficial time, of 6.92 seconds, Team DuPont. Great run for deep Team DuPont, great run indeed.
Coming up to the line next is the AT&F Men of Steel. AT&F stands for American Tank and Fabrication. They're a medical med, uh, a metal fabricator right here in, located in Cleveland. Men of Steel. Mm -hmm. I hope they can pull this jet like the Man of Steel. That's right. Maybe the bunch of supermen right here. We're looking forward to a great time from them. Here they are getting up to the line, getting their team set up. Getting ready to pull. There's the end of the line. Big team. Big team for the Men of Steel. Let's see how they do. There's the anchor wrapping his arm around that rope, looking to get a good, good pull on that rope and get that plane started quickly. And there's the horn, and they're going. There they are. There's that motion. They're moving pretty, oh, they're darn pretty fast. Quick. Yeah, they're very quick. Wow. With the unofficial time of six. Point nine three seconds. ATNF, Men of Steel. They came out and they showed that they are the Men of Steel, and a multi ton plane is nothing for them. All right, next team stepping up is Constant Aviation Team One. Once again, Constant Aviation showing up here at the plane pole. One of their many teams at this year's pole. Uh, probably raising a whole bunch of money for Special Olympics. And there is the horn. There they go. Starting off very, very quickly. Constant Aviation, Team 1. There's their 12-foot line. And with the unofficial time of 6.13 seconds. Wow. That team is Constant one of the best. Aviation. Christian, one of the best times we've seen today. Constant Aviation, Team 1, 6.13. Yeah. And like you said, multiple teams and this is all going to uh, help with the Special Olympics in providing year-round training and competition for children and adults with intellectual disabilities. All right, Christian, coming up to pull the plane next in the men's division is Team Westlake. The men from the city of Westlake coming here from right <laughs> next door to pull the plane. <laughs> yeah, and one thing I can say about this division it's some pretty stiff competition. We've seen some great times, all within at six second range, mm -hmm. you know, late six seconds. So, I mean, they're gonna have to pull this plane pretty quick to yeah. beat some of these times. Yeah, it's all about getting that first good start right when that whistle blows and that horn sounds, to get that first good start to really get that momentum going on their favor. Okay, Team Westlake getting in position, getting a firm grip, getting their feet firmly planted on the ground. There's your anchor with, there we go, and there's a horn. There's a start, oh, they're, oh, they're moving fast, they're moving fast. Oh, wow. And with the unofficial time of 6.93 seconds, Team Westlake, I mean, all these all these times are pretty much close in yeah. this men's division. Very close, very close. It's going to be hard to tell. It's a, it's a tight race. Yeah. This is it, Christian. Coming up right now, the Cleveland Police men's division. And last team of the men's division, um, the public safety has really outdone themselves in each division so far today. Now, so far, what we have uh, unofficially, the Cleveland uh, Aviation, the uh, Constant Aviation men's team won at 6.13. We're going to see if they can beat that unofficial time. It's going to be close. Uh, again, there's Councilman Brian Casey and his daughter Brianna up there. Hit on the line. This should be a really, really interesting pull from the Cleveland police. A lot of people come up to see how the police and the firefighters, how they do in the plane pole. You can hear the chairs in the background. They're really excited for this plane pole. Getting in position, getting ready. There's the horn. There's the start. And they are moving quick, very quick. Wow. With the unofficial time of 6.39 seconds, mm. Cleveland police in the men's division. Great run by the Cleveland police. Great time. 
a very competitive time with all the different teams we've seen in the men's division so far. All right, coming up next in the men's division, Team NMG. Late addition, but they're looking to really take off. And there's the horn. NMG is off. And they got a good start, Christian, a really good start. This is going to be a, a fast time, I think. Yeah, with the unofficial time of 6.93 seconds. Wow. Team NMG. Every team pretty much have come in at the six-second mark. Yeah. You know. Uh, for it's, the men's this division. is a tight one. In the Very good division. division. Very good division. Coming up right now, Christian, it's, it's a special treat for everybody. The the tiniest of the plane pullers, this one is the kids. They're going to move this jumbo jet. Yeah, and we've seen groups of 20 adults pull this plane. I think it's going to be at least 60 to 80 kids have to move this thing. I think they're going to get a faster time than some of the some of the men. <laughs> That's what I think. And, you know, they, they came here and they were able to register right on site. Uh, this is just for fun. Uh, but, oh, look, we got some really, look at the little, little small kid over there. <laughs> barely, he can barely reach the rope, but he's there. And, and there's the horn, and they're pulling. And they're moving. They're pulling okay. with all their mind. This is great. I look love at to this. see these kids getting it in. <laughs> there, wow. Wow. With an unofficial time of 9.08 seconds. That's faster than some of the teams here today. Yeah. Good These job, kids. good job to the kids. Very excited, what an accomplishment to say, I got on a rope and I pulled a plane 12 feet. Yeah, I see some proud parents yeah. out there. All right, well Christian, that was the last event of this great plane pull, and it sure was a great day, a lot of great competition out there. Yeah, we've seen some great times, and a lot of them were in the men's division where it was really tight between, you know, the late six second marks. And I'm excited to see what these scores will be and who are some of the top pullers in this year's 10th annual United CLE Plane Pool. Well, we're gonna find all that out for you and more when we come back at the 2019 Cleveland Plane Pool. Great moments are born from great opportunity, and that's what you have here tonight. That's what you've earned here tonight. One game. If we played them 10 times, they might win nine. But not this game. Not tonight. Tonight we compete with them. Tonight we stay with them. And we shut them down, because we can. Tonight we are the greatest hockey team. Greatest, greatest hockey team in the world. You were born to be hockey players. Every one of you. And, and you were, were meant, meant to be here tonight. This is your time. I'm sick and tired of hearing about what a great hockey team they have. Forget them. This, this is, is your, your time. time. Now go out there and take it. results from the 10th annual Hopkins Plain Poll. First, the co-ed division. Third place went to the Cleveland Police Department with a time of 6.54 seconds. The second place trophy was awarded to Totally Toned at 6.53 seconds. And coming in first, Medina County Career Center. Team two finished with an impressive 6.48 seconds. Third place in the all-female division went to Constant Aviation 2 with a time of 8.11 seconds. Constant Aviation 1 came in second at 8.09 seconds, and the ladies from the Cleveland Police Department walked away with the first place trophy, pulling the plane in 7.43 seconds. Moving on to the men's division, Constant Aviation 1 came in third with a time of 6.24 seconds. Second place went to Constant Aviation 4 at 6.17 seconds. And the men in blue, your Cleveland Police, nabbed a first place trophy with a time of 5.94 seconds. 
The true winner of the day, however, was the Special Olympics of Ohio. The plane pole managed to pull in over $45,000 to help provide year-round sports training and athletic competition in a variety of Olympic-type sports for individuals with intellectual disabilities. Thanks to everyone who participated in this year's plane pole, and we'll see you back here next year.